Excel, Module 2, Working, Formatting Worksheet, Independent Challenge 2, Financial Services, Open 2-4, Enable the Editing, in B8, make B8 your active cell, and you want everything added above, which is under the category Main. You can go to the Auto Sum and just click it, because that's the default is to add, or if you click the down arrow, it's the very first one. Or, in the cell, Alt equals is the shortcut, and it should be B3 through B7, check mark in the formula bar, and then drag it across to column F. Click in G3, and we want everything added from the left-hand side. So again, you can use your auto sum or Alt equals, and it should be equal sum B3 through F3, check, and then drag it down to column to row 8. Click in the title, A1, and select from cell styles the title style. For row 2, select all of the column headings and go into cell styles and choose heading 4. And then for A8 through G8, Go into Cell Styles and choose the total cell formatting. So it has a single line above it and double line under it. Then we'll merge and center the title. So select an A1 and go to G1, all of row 1, merge and center. So it's centered through the columns A through G. Then we'll select B3 all the way to G8. And we want the accounting format. And if you get any of these hashtags, that means that the column information is too wide to fit. So you could go to each one and double click so it spreads out. Or select, and I'm even going to select A, select all of the column headings and then double click anywhere. And it makes them all wide at the same time. Uh, go ahead and select B3 all the way to G8. Uh, I missed this. There was They don't want any decimal places, so decrease decimal twice. And they were all 00, zero anyway. Click in B9, and they want a different date. They want the, the day, month, and year. So if we were to choose more for the date, that is not our option. So we'll have to go to more number format. And the one they're looking for is this one right here, the day, the month, and the year and then click OK. Click in A2 and they want the column heading to be angled at 45 degrees. So to do that, select the cell and there is a orientation and um, angle counterclockwise is a 45 degree angle so I'm going to click it and if you wanted to confirm that that's 45 degree angle if you click the orientation button again and choose format cell alignment you'll see that it's at 45 degrees then click OK we'll click copy and then we'll select the other cells and the column headings and then paste and it'll paste that formatting Select A9 and B9, and then we'll select the tipped over paint bucket. And we're looking for blue gray text to 80%. Blue gray text 80%, lighter 80%. And then select uh, with A9, they want. The same two rows selected, the font color will be blue accent 1, darker 50%, blue accent 1, darker 50%. We're going to create a conditional format for G3 to G8. Remember, you usually don't include the totals. And we're going to choose conditional format. And it is a highlight cells rules less than, and it's less than 25 million. 
will appear in light red with dark red text and then click OK. There's one of them. We're going to click, select another conditional formatting for B8 through F8. Again, we're not taking the grand total. So with row 8 selected but not the service, you'll click conditional formatting. The icons are the stars ratings. If anything doesn't fit, just go ahead and widen each column if you get the hashtags. And then we'll go into review, spelling and grammar, collection is misspelled, change, and OK. We're going to rename it instead of just sheet one, so right click and then rename. And this one is going to be called first quarter and then press enter. And then they want a copy of this. And that'll be renamed to sheet two. So right click and choose move or copy. Select create a copy and move it to the end. OK. And it, this one right now is first quarter copy to right click and rename. And this will be second quarter. Enter. And if you want on right on first quarter, if you would like to choose a tab color, you could do that for both of them if you'd like. And when they're active, they're in white. And if you're away from them, they're that color you chose. So if you, that's not in the book, but if you wanted to do that, you could. We're going to do our, um, I'll do the other one with the header. So from the actual worksheet, insert under text, header, footer. See, it's a little different from the other one. In the center, type your name of the header. They still have the three places left, center and right. And if you wanted to go to the footer and um, type the, um, the sheet name, go ahead and go to footer. And in the middle, uh, choose sheet name. That's not in the book. I'm just adding that. And then click out of it so that you're back into the worksheet. But do you see how it splits it up into almost like quarters? So if you want, you can click um, down at the bottom. We're in what's called page layout. You can choose normal and that takes you back. The only thing is you don't see the header and footer here. Um, also what happens is do you see a dotted line that comes down between E and F? Because the default is to print this in portrait, only this half will fit and this other half will not fit. So if I were to go to file print to show you back here, here's the portrait and it's not finished. You can see that there's page one of two and that's what's over on page two. So what you would do is change the orientation instead of portrait, choose landscape so it all fits. So it all fits on one sheet as landscape, but notice it's all up at the top of the screen. So if you want, you can click page setup and we already chose landscape. Choose margins and select to center on page horizontally and vertically. And it shows you here as a preview and then click OK. So it centered it vertically and horizontally. <laughs> Go ahead and save and submit.